Hey YouTube, what is up? So today in this video, I will be doing a review on the SKR 1.3 for the Ender 3. Unfortunately, I could not find an affiliate link for the motherboard that I'm using today. But you can find an affiliate link for the Ender 3. It will be in the description. I will talk all about it later. But anyways, so far, I'm very pleased with the SKR 1.3. The main reason why I decided to switch my 3D printer to the SKR 1.3 was because Marlin wouldn't upload onto the old motherboard, which I have somewhere. I think it's right here. And what ended up happening was I tried uploading bootloader to it. I couldn't do it for the life of me. It was a pain. I couldn't figure it out. I posted things on Reddit about it. I posted things on Discord about it. Never got it figured out. And so the main reason why you'd want to upload new firmware to the Ender 3 is that Ender 3 doesn't have uh, what thermal runaways or, and actually has a bunch of fail saves disabled by default. This is to save memory on the CPU, which is like, why would you do that? There's plenty of memory anyways, but who am I to judge? So the SKR.13 is, has a lot of pros to be honest. One of them is it is 32 bit, which means I literally use laptops that are 32 bit to be holding an Arduino processor on my 3D printer that is 32-bit is a big deal for me. There are laptops that are literally 32-bit. There are Minecraft, well, yes, there are Minecraft computers that are 32-bit, but that's a different story. So, I've actually had a couple issues wiring it. It's all resolved now. I think it is. But this thing was relatively easy to wire up. Most of the issues were my own doing. But it's been a lot of fun using it. Another pro about this is you literally upload the code to it from Visual Studio to an SD card on this 3D printer. That, that's huge. It's kind of convenient actually because I find it kind of annoying having to upload code to an Arduino through a USB port. You can still do it. You can still upload code to a USB port on this. But honestly, sorry, I'm just hiccuping. Honestly, the SD card, I think is a major step up from that. There are a few cons to this. One of them is I really hate terminals. Terminals are a pain in the butt to me and the fact that the power supply and the heated bed, the extruder and the heating elements are all supplied through a terminal kind of has me a bit ticked off, but oh well. Another thing that is a con to this is I bought this thinking that the stepper truck that the 3D printer would be very silent with the new motherboard on. Turns out what really makes a 3D printer silent is the drivers you choose, not so much the motherboard itself. The motherboard has hardly anything to do with it. Yes, it is super easy to put new drivers on this. There are little jumpers on each of the stepper drivers for configuring different modes and settings for the drivers but still it's like I really thought it was going to be silent or at least more silent with the new motherboard but I guess not. Another thing is it came with bootloader that's a major pro. I actually really like the fact it has bootloader on it but so far I'm very pleased with it I really, well, actually, another con would be that 32-bit, I haven't noticed a significant difference 
with 32-bit versus 8-bit. Maybe I will in the future, but I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever. But anyways, I'm very pleased with this. Thank you for watching and bye.